Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. Glad you could join us for another video here. Um, something I'm really excited to talk about today is this Super Rack. Um, I'm sure if you're into PwC fishing, you know that the rack is, is super essential in the setup because this will kind of be like your workstation um, central to all your gear while you're out there in the water. And so I'm just gonna talk about the rack today, the ordering process, um, delivery, initial quality, and you know, all those things that I feel was not, I had to research and to just, you know, look around the internet for just reviews and, you know, initial impressions and basic dimensions, which to be honest, uh, was kind of scattered. And so hopefully I condense that all for you today and, you know, you can, uh, it can help you in your, you know, decision on what type of setup to go to. But um, yeah, so again, let's get right into it. So this is the Super Rack. It's the Cruiser uh, model. And um, it's basically, if I had to say from PwC Super Rack, which is the the folks that I got this from. Um, it's for the Yamaha FX and it's a 2021. This is kind of like their mid, uh, middle of the line rack where it's it's bigger than the, the smallest one they offer, but it's not the biggest one they have. And I, I feel uh, for what I need, this is like the perfect balance um, size. Uh, as you can see, it's really, uh, it's fairly straightforward and I'll get to it later when I talk about the install, but it's, it, it really just slides into um, the rear like that. I don't know if you could tell, but if I can just maybe zoom out here a little bit, um, it just slides in like that. And then, um, so that keeps it stable just by itself, but, uh, and then, you know, you'll have these turnbuckles here that uh, give it extra stability. And yes, let me talk about that here in a little bit, but I wanted to just, uh, let's walk over here and um, just see the extras that came along with the rack. So if, uh, if I move over here to my bench and just set the camera down, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so, I know for the folks, they probably saw it on like my other posts here. Um, I'd like to just first start off by saying um, this isn't a paid, uh, you know, um, review. I paid full retail for the rack. Um, and this is not a paid sponsorship. This is just basically my opinion of what I think about PwC Super Rack and their cruiser edition. Um, let me just start off by uh, with customer service. Their customer service was just awesome. Um, A plus all the way around. The website ordering was straightforward. Um, you just order from their website, select the rack that you want, and I'll post the link here. And then uh, just select the other options if you do choose that route. Um, in my case, I ordered the custom logo option and I'll, I'll, I'll post a picture of that here uh, during this video, but essentially what it was is um, you get to submit a logo, choose one of their default logos that they have on the site, but also uh, you can submit your own. And that's what I did, right? So I submitted the, um, basically my graphic for my channel um, that I have on all my social media channels and what they tried to do was you know they engrave it on uh, basically this size and this size fits perfectly and i'll show you later how that this bolts on to the rear of the rack but uh basically what happened is the logo that i submitted um and i'm using their words was just too busy and i'm guessing it's the design was just maybe too intricate the background was maybe molding into the foreground and, and again, I'm just guessing on what the exact reason was, but they did ask um, to, if I could resend uh, different 
picture or maybe select something from their default pictures. But uh, I just declined that and they promptly refunded me um, the logo, the, what I paid for the logo. But uh, what was a surprise to me is after the refund, which I got instantly, right? Was um, Nelson from PWC Super Rack, shout out to Nelson. Um, he sent me the plate in my order, free of charge, of course. Um, and with the personal email saying, hey, you know, apologize for not being able to complete your order because of just the, you know, the logo limitations and, you know, their, I'm guessing their engraving machine. But here's an, he said, here's a free plate where you can just, uh, you know, maybe slap a vinyl decal of your logo on there. Um, and so that's awesome, right? You know, like, and again, just providing value to their customers. Um, and I, I felt great about them at that point. You know, um, it's rare that you find companies that are local here, you know, built, made in the USA that provide extra value. Usually people tend to just charge extra for stuff like that. And, you know, and the icing on the cake was, and this was a total surprise for me, was um, when they shipped my rack, uh, to me, I unboxed it and, you know, lo and behold, I found a, um, uh, uh, basically one of their sand anchors with a, you know, like a nice personal note and a smiley face saying, hey, you know, um, here's a free sand anchor for you. Um, again, not a paid sponsorship. I paid full retail for my order, but it, it just goes to show, right? Like, you know, companies like this that just provide outstanding value and then just, you know, giving you these basically free things for, you know, and asking nothing in return. So, you know, that just, you know, gave me a warm and fuzzy with the company again. And, you know, shout out to Nelson and the guys. You guys are awesome. And... Um, so yeah, so I just want to say the initial quality, you know, is good to me for the, you know, I know reading the forums, there's a lot of uh, questions there about quality. Uh, I saw comments about weld quality and, you know, how uh, it may be subpar. Uh, again, I'm not an expert on, you know, fabrication and welding, but to my, you know, layman eyes, these welds are, are good, right? Um, it's, you could tell it was made by a human. You know, it's not perfect as far as some of the welds I've seen, you know, with like bicycle parts and motorcycle parts and car parts. But, you know, it's, my biggest thing is for me, I want things to last. And, you know, only time will tell if this rack and all its parts will last. But for me, the initial quality is is I have to give it a ten out of ten, just because you know the welds to me are look as good as any of the bicycle welds I've seen in in all my other aluminum bicycles and you know and motorcycles and so but but again that's just my opinion um, and but I'm not the one to you know I'm not the type that kicks tires anyway so uh, take it for what's what's that worth. And then, um, so let's tr let's transition over to um, the install and uh, my thoughts on actual the actual rack. Okay, so back on this rack, uh, I wanted to talk about the install and how easy it was. Uh, I was contemplating on talking about this install, and I was like, man, what is there to talk about? It's so straightforward. It's so easy to bolt on. So like I said before, let's transition over here. So essentially, the rack comes with these hooks underneath it. And that does a couple of things. It compensates for the slope of a Yamaha jet ski here. And then the f these hooks slide into it and just that alone already has tension, but uh, to the next part of the install is once that's nice and snug, you basically have these 
two, sorry, let me just zoom out here a little bit. You have these two turnbuckles, which are all aluminum, by the way, and you kind of just make sure everything's center. It's hard to see on the camera here, but um, you center that and then basically you hook these all stainless steel turnbuckles to this toe hook here, toe eye, and that's pretty much it. I wish there was more to it, but it's it can't get any easier than that because you just hook that in. Um, and then they do say in the instructions to try to just center that and make sure that these uh, this turnbuckle is is centered, right? Like it's not um, favoring one side of this bolt. And so once that's nice and center and uh, you put tension here, it's kind of loose right now because I'm just test fitting it. Uh, but once before you do go out, make sure that's um, nice and tight, which I've tried it. And man, you can actually move the the watercraft by just shaking this rack, right? Um, and then, so once that's nice and tension, you just uh, cinch it down some more with this, um, with this nut right here. Uh, and you know, you do that twice. So very, very straightforward, really nothing to it. I wish there was more to it, but unfortunately it's that easy. Um, so yeah. Uh, I will say one thing, I noticed they, they favored the use of uh, cotter pins. Um, just by initial look at it, I, I'm fairly certain that these are um, stainless steel cotter pins, which, you know, prevent any type of corrosion. But I would like to see, and this is something I'll do here in the future, um, I'd like to see that they transition over to maybe some lock wire, but that's coming from like the aerospace industry, right? And, you know, be, being in the military, we, we locked wired everything. So maybe in the future, once if I do source out some uh, stainless steel lock wire, I'm going to go ahead and change those out. Um, although I don't mind it, I'd, I have to just trim it and make sure it doesn't snag on anything, especially like me, myself, and my skin. If I do snag myself with those, usually it leaves a cut. I mean, not a, not a big deal, but all you'd have to do is uh, trim it and then wrap it around, wrap that pin around the bolt to avoid that. But uh, me, on a personal note, I'd like to just transition these over to lock wire. And so, yeah, I mean, at this point, really, uh, you just see how well it fits. Here's the, you know, turnbuckles nice and centered. And this is the rack, how it sits. Um, once it's centered like that, and again, it's such a straightforward product, super bolt on, um, nothing to it, right? And, I, um, and while we're, we're talking about it here, I just want to talk about here the, the plate that they included, the plate sits here. So if you have mm, engraving and personalized engraving, this, this plate would physically sit here, you would just bolt it. And if you see online and the other pictures, a lot of the folks, they have their logo here. You know, they personalize their rack and their ski and then just bolt this on here. I plan to do that here in the future when I do, um, you know, find a decal that I like and just slap that on there. But for now, it's, it's, it's awesome. I, tend, uh, I plan to keep it that way. And also while I'm here at this topic, uh, the future upgrades that I plan to do for this is uh, a fuel can. If you are familiar with uh, fuel cans called Rotopax, this, the Rotopax mount will mount directly on here and I plan to add one of those, maybe one on both sides to increase my uh, fuel capacity for when uh, I plan to go out farther. And uh, that will allow me to do that, right? Uh, carry extra fuel, increase your range. And 
of course, uh, the rod holders. There are options on their site to add their rod holders, but I didn't feel that would be a good solution for me and my style of fishing. And so I just plan to add rod holders around here. I'm still trying to decide whether it be four or six. It's looking like a four, four rod rack for me. And so I'm just gonna add four rod holders, whether it be, you know, two on each side or, or, or what have you, um, I still have to figure that out. But for now, I plan to just carry four rods with me, a gaff and possibly a landing net. And so stand by for that. I'm sure I'm gonna, you know, share content when it, when it comes time to just show um, how my setup progresses. But yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for joining me again. And you know, if you have any questions, hit me up on, you know, on the various channels that I have. Hit me up on YouTube, post comments, and please, please subscribe and like my videos if you do enjoy it and I brought value to you. And let me know if I can help. Um, I've done all, a lot of research, so I can definitely answer some of your questions that are pretty hard to find out there. So answers that are hard to find. So let me know and I'll definitely help you guys out because I know a lot of guys along the way have helped me out. Shout out to Nelson, PWC Racks. Dot com. You guys are awesome. Thank you. You built a great product here and I appreciate the hard work. Thanks guys.